Today I'm going to show you how to use a new feature in Canva to create tables and the project that we're going to create today is a class schedule like this one. Everything that I'm going to show you today is completely free so if you guys are interested in this tutorial let's go to my computer. Here we are in canva.com and for us to access the tables feature it really doesn't matter which doc type we use. So for this project I'm gonna use a presentation doc type and I'm gonna use this one in particular 1920 by 1080 because I believe this size is going to work really well for my class schedule. Here we are in the Canva editor and if you want to access this tables feature go to elements and here you will find this new section called tables. Click on see all and here Canva offer us three different styles of tables. So let me show you. We have this one which is basically just lines. Here we have the second style and this one is basically the same table but we have color on the first row. Let me show you the third style. This table is different because every single cell has a solid color and also instead of lines we have transparency in between each cell. So let me show you if I change the color of the background what happens. As you can see there is transparency on the first style of table. We have transparency on these cells but not the first row because we have a color on the first row of this table. And finally, on this one, we have transparency in between each cell. Now let's start with our project. So let's create a new page and let me erase the color in the background. I'm going to delete the first page because we don't need it anymore. And let me bring this table to my empty page. Now I want to show you the different tools that we have available to customize our table. So when you click on your table you will see three dots appearing on top and some other three dots appearing to the left. When you click on the three dots on top the column where you are situated gets selected. When you click on the three dots on the left the row will be selected. So let me give you an example of what we can do in here. So when you click on the three dots, this menu will appear and we can copy, paste and delete this column. So let me give you an example. Let me write something here just for the test. And let's leave it like this. Okay, so when I click on the three dots and I click copy, then I go to a different column and this time I will select paste. As you can see, everything about this column has been copied and pasted into a different column. Okay, let's see what else do we have in here. We have delete, which actually will delete our table. So let me go back. Here we have delete column in case that we want to just delete that column. Now we have just two columns. Then we have add column before, add column after. So let me add a column after. Here we have. Then move column to the left. The column that we selected is moving to the left. Then we have size rows equally, size rows to content, size column to content. So let me show you an example. Let's say that by accident you were moving your table from one side to the other and accidentally you changed the size of your rows and you want them to look equal. So you click on the three dots and select size rows equally and pay attention because the size of these cells will change. And as you can see, all the cells have the same size. Now I want to show you what these two options will help you do. So let me show you size column to content. Let's say that you have so much text in one of the cells that the text got broken into two lines, but you want the text to be in just one line. You go to the three dots and select size column to content. And as you can see, Canva extended the width of the column in order to have the text in just one line. And now the last two options that we have on this menu are animate and comment. Now I want to show you some other tools that we can use to customize our tables. So pay attention to this toolbar. At the moment we have three options, 
but when we select our table you will see that we have some other features available here so we can first change the color and you can if you want select the first row by holding shift and then selecting the last cell on your row and like this you can change the color on your row you can do the same for the columns and if you want to change the color of a specific cell you can do it as well now let me show you how to add borders to your table you're going to select the second option on the toolbar and you can select the style that you prefer in this case i will go for the first one so you can see clearly what we are doing on the table and we don't see anything at the moment because the color option is empty so i'm gonna give it a black color and as you can see we now have borders on our cells you can also change the border weight so i'm gonna make it thick so you can see clearly what we're going to do here so as you can see each of our cells have a border but what about the empty space in this table if you don't like this you can again select your table and select the third option on the toolbar and from here you can customize the empty space between each cell and if you leave it to zero you are actually going to get rid of the empty spaces in between each cell something that i find interesting here is that you can also add text to your tables and you can customize your text so if you double click on any of the cells on your table you can start typing and once you have your text on any of the cells you can select it and then adjust anything related to your text with this toolbar you have font font size font color and some other features that will help you adjust or customize your text now what i'm going to do next is to start filling my table so i can start creating my class schedule so let me do this monday tuesday and if you want to add a new column you can also do it with a different button i already showed you that you can do it with these three dots but if you go closer to the corner you will see this plus icon when you click on it you will automatically have a new column so let me continue filling this table On this column, I'm gonna add the timing. So let's say eight to 10, 10 to 12, and 12 to, I don't know, let's say 13. And on each of these cells, I'm gonna add my subjects. I have finished filling my table and I also went ahead and changed my class schedule style. So if you want me to show you how to change the table style with just a couple of clicks, keep watching because I'm going to show you how. But before I wanted to share with you guys, before I forget, a set of free templates that you can use to create your social media content for the month. I'm going to leave you guys the link to that set of templates in the description of this video and by the way i also wanted to know if you want me to keep sharing set of templates with you guys would you like me to share more free templates more pro templates or maybe you are not interested at all in templates i would like to know what do you guys think let me know in the comments okay so now i'm going to show you how to change the style of your class schedules with just one click i'm going to duplicate this page so you can see how the style of this complete class schedule is going to change okay on the left hand side you will see this styles section but if you don't see it on the left just go to more and you will find it there let's open styles and here you will see all these different brackets i will call them because they are a set of fonts font combination and a color palette so if you find something that you like something interesting you can click on it and the style of your table will automatically change as you can see the font also changed so let me go and use a different brand kit okay so you see it here also if you click more than one time on any of these brand kits you will find different combination of colors on your table so as you can see with just a couple of clicks i have two class schedules 
that look completely different. Okay, now we know how to change the style of our class schedule and I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks that you can use for you to keep customizing your class schedule. So let's add a text box in here and let's call it class schedule. Let's make it bigger. I'm gonna change the font and let's change the color. Now I'm going to show you a trick that I know some of you don't know yet and I know that because a couple of days ago we shared a post on the community section of our channel and some of you said that you didn't know this trick. So the trick is to add a background to our text and you can do it by selecting your text box go to effects and this is the new feature that some of you don't know yet <laughs> so click on it and as you can see we now have a shape behind our text and it is not a shape it is a text background so when i move my text box the shape moves along and also if i add more text you see the shape or the background also grows with the text this is an amazing feature and i love love to use it okay so why am i adding this background to the text i want to show you something that some of you would like to use some of you maybe not but you can keep customizing your class schedule by adding backgrounds to your design so there is a section in canva called background if you don't see it on the left hand side go to more and you will find it there so let's open the background section and from here you can change automatically the color of your background so as you can see you can select any of these colors or you can also add images to the background if you want you can add gradients or you can add textures you can be creative here and if you find something that looks good and that you are happy with you can leave it and then we should be ready to download our design now how do we download our class schedule go to this arrow pointing down and here we have the file type if you are using this class schedule as a digital class schedule you can download it as pdf standard or if you are planning to print this design you can download it as pdf print you could also download it as png or jpeg if you are planning on using it on your computer but for me i like to use pdf so let's use this one and download and this is the final outcome this is the class schedule that i just created in canva let me know what do you guys think about it also do you think the tables feature is going to be helpful or not also if you are still watching this video leave me this emoji in the comments i would like to know how many of you stayed until the end if you want to discover the newest features in canva you should watch this video right here and i'm also leaving the link to my canva profiling here in case that you want to benefit from fresh and aesthetic templates every week i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next one bye